Hi, my name is Lauren Howe. I'm an LPGA Tour player. I played for 13 years and am an event winner and had numerous top 10 finishes. Today, we're going to talk to you about how this wonderful tool can help you with your balance and power in the golf swing. We're going to start off with a balanced setup position. We're going to call this the go position. Now, to achieve this, what we're going to do is we're going to get it in a position as if somebody was going to come at you and you were going to dodge them. And when you get into this position, you'll notice how balanced you feel, how you have the proper spine angle, and move around a little bit so your body can be nice and athletic. So we're gonna call this the go position, and this is the balance setup position where we're gonna start every swing in. In this first drill, we're gonna put on the hip trainer and we're gonna hook it up to this band. We're gonna, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put it on my right hip and hook, hook it up to something that's 45 degrees behind me, and I'm first going to talk to you about how to rotate back so that you can rotate through properly. So we're in our go position that we talked about before and I want you to imagine that somebody called your name from behind you and you just turn to look at them and once you look at them keep your shoulders there and look back where the ball is. This will give you a natural shoulder turn and hip rotation. So then so let's come back and do it again. Let's do this a couple of times. So again, I'm going to turn like somebody called my name, look back at the ball, and feel that position. Now as we do it this time, let's feel what's going on in our lower body, in our hips and legs. So if I do it again, I turn, what I feel is that my weight has transferred a little bit to my right leg. My shoulders have turned, my hips have turned, and I'm in a strong, balanced position. Now that you know what to do with this exercise, Let's have you repeat this movement 10 to 20 times and really connect with how it feels to do the correct movement. Now we're going to start to work on our powerful, consistent follow through. And to do this, we're going to start with our feet together. We're going to make a nice turn back and then make a small step towards the target. And then if I had a dot on my right hip, I just want to turn that dot right at the target. And after each swing, we're going to make sure that we are in our strongest balance point on our forward leg and that that dot is pointing right at the target. We're going to do this drill in slow motion. You can do it 10 to 20 times until you really get the feel of it. And once again, you're going to start with your feet together, put your arms across your chest. We're going to turn back, make a small step through. And if there was a dot on my right hip, I'm going to turn that dot towards the target hold my strongest balance point and make sure that dot would be pointing right at the target. So what this product is doing for me now, when it's hooked to my right hip and behind me like this, it's going to actually assist me through the ball. And it's going to help you feel the correct position. A lot of people have never felt a complete follow through. So this will assist you in getting there. Now, if I make a swing where I twist and fall off balance, I'm going to get immediate feedback that I'm not in a good balanced position. So what I'd like you to do is take the swing, hold it for at least a count of three, and make sure you're nice and stable and that that dot on the right hip would be pointing right at the target, and then you'll be in a good position. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's start again with our feet together. Put our hands and arms across our shoulders. We're going to turn back and step and hold the follow through, find your strongest balance point, and point that dot right at the target. We'll do this a couple of times. So we're trying to do it at the normal golf swing, your normal golf swing speed. Okay, so feet together, arms across the chest, turn back, step, and follow through. Point that dot right at the target. Now let's do this in your normal swing speed, but let's do it like a real golf swing. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in that go position again. And remember what that is, you're gonna get in a nice athletic position as if somebody was going to run at you and you were gonna dodge them. So make sure there's no tension and a lot of movement there until you feel nice and relaxed. Put your arms across the shoulders. We're gonna turn back and then all the way through to the target. We're gonna hold that nice strong balance position on our target leg and make sure that imaginary dot at our hip is right at the target. Okay, let's have some fun and put a club in our hand now, but we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. We're going to put our start with our feet together. We're going to take a nice turn and then follow through. So feet together, turn back, step, and follow through. 
Imaginary dot goes right to the target, and notice how I found my nice strong balance point. Now it's time to take a full swing with, the, with your golf club. We're going to go ahead and get into our athletic go position. We're going to take a nice turn going back, and then we're going to point that dot, imaginary dot, on our right hip towards the target and hold our balance finish for about three seconds. Do this 10 to 20 times and really have an awareness or a feeling of what's going on in your body. The wonderful thing about the PowerCore 360 is its versatility. You can actually hit balls in it. You can hit them at the golf course, you could hit it inside into a net, or even into a simulator. But as you start hitting golf balls with this on, what I'd like you to do is start at 50% swing speed so you can get the feel of the motion. So let's do that first. I'm going to get into my strong go position. I'm going to make a little turn and then follow through, point my imaginary dot at the target and hold it for three seconds. So as you start working at this at 50% swing speed, do it 10 to 20 times or until you actually feel nice and solid in your balance position. Let's make sure that you go through and that right hip is actually pointing at the target and that you're nice and strong on your target side leg. And what the PowerCore 360 is doing is it's actually helping me through to my full follow through position and it will continue to give me the feedback as to whether I'm on balance or not. So now we're going from having the band in an assisted position to a resisted position. So what I did is I've hooked now the band up to my left hip and at a 45 degree angle behind me. So as I go through, it's actually resisting me. Okay, so now let's do the same drill as we did before with the band resisting us. So we're going to get into our good go position. We're gonna put our arms across their chest again. We're going to turn back and then point that right hip at the target and find your strong balance position and hold for the count of three. So I'd like you to repeat this drill 10 to 20 times. We're going to get in our go position, turn back, point the right hip at the target, find your strongest balance position and hold it for three seconds. Okay, it's time to put a club in our hand again. So we're gonna get in our strong go position, turn back, point the right hip at the target and hold that strong follow through for three seconds. Now we're gonna hit some balls with resistance. And this is really going to pull on you, so we're gonna hit the first few balls at 50% swing speed. Let's make sure you can hold that nice strong finish and get that right hip all the way around to the target. So here we go, 50% swing speed. And hold. Once you get the feeling of stability and you're able to get that right hip all the way to the target, Let's go ahead and use your normal swing speed, doing the same thing. Now you can see I've unhooked from the band and my hips are really gonna fly through the ball. So I'm gonna take the first few swings at 50% swing speed again. I'm going to make sure that that right hip gets to the target and I finish in that nice follow through position. Okay, now let's go to the full speed, same, same routine. We're gonna get in our go position. We're gonna point the right hip at the target and then finish in a nice balanced follow through position. These drills are really to help you feel the correct follow through position and start to train your body to do the right thing through the ball. In future segments, we're gonna show you how to use the PowerCore 360 for more power in your golf swing.